My name is Nicole and welcome to the Week's Nest DIY. Today's video, I have some easy canvas hacks that you have to try. I'm gonna show you five ways to DIY and transform Dollar Tree canvases. This is a part two. I did a part one not too long ago, which I will have down in the description box below. So let's get started with our first hack. We're gonna make this large decor piece using two 11 by 14 flat panel canvases from the Dollar Tree. Now what I did was I took the backings of these canvases, I have them going horizontal, and then to reinforce them, I'm taking some craft sticks and some hot glue to make sure that they stay in place. Now, I, like I said, I'm using the 11 by 14 flat panel canvases from the Dollar Tree. Let me know in the comments if you prefer the flat canvases or the stretched. I really like the flat panel ones because there really are so many things you can do with them. And combining two 11 by 14 canvases is gonna give you a really big decor piece like the one we're gonna be making today. Use three sheets of this scrapbook paper. This came in a book from Hobby Lobby. These are 12 by 12 sheets. And this faux wood scrapbook paper to make a faux wood border. Now I went ahead on the back, measured one inch strips, and then I'm gonna cut them with my paper trimmer. And this is a great hack if you want that wood bordered look, but you don't feel like cutting wood or going out and getting wood if you don't have any. So if you get a wood grain scrapbook paper and you're already using other scrapbook paper for this project, you're gonna get strips like this, which we will use as our border, which you'll see in a little bit. But first, before we add those, we need to add our main scrapbook paper. So what I did was I flipped these over and then I joined them with a little bit of tape. That way it made it a lot more more easy, a lot easier, there we go, um, to measure where I needed to cut this. I didn't want the paper to kind of slide all over the place because I wanted my canvases centered so that way everything stays in place. I can make my markings and then go ahead and cut. Scrapbook paper is cut. It is time to apply whatever adhesive you choose for this. Now I am using Mod Podge, which I know like I've talked a lot of smack about Mod Podge <laughs> on my channel, but now I've kind of gotten used to working with it. You want a really thin layer. A spray adhesive would totally work fine for this as well. But something I found that works really well is a roller. So once I added all of the Mod Podge, I went ahead and rolled and that really helped smooth out any bubbles. And I did take a little bit of hot glue just to the edges to make sure that while the Mod Podge is setting, I can have everything stay in place. Now I did go ahead and use hot glue to add that faux wood border. Um, it worked just fine. I really just wanted something that would adhere quick. You don't want too much hot glue, but I didn't want to layer Mod Podge on top of Mod Podge because it wasn't dry yet. Of course, I think if you let it dry, it probably would be fine, but the hot glue worked just fine for this, just not too much. And I love that this gives a wood border look without having to use any. So once all the scrapbook paper is applied, you get this really large statement piece. Now, of course, you can paint this or use scrapbook paper to fit your decor style. You can even use um, decals if you have a cutting machine. So many different options. But I love the size of this for only using two canvases. up, we are going to use two canvases, one flat and one stretched. Now the flat panel canvas I'm using actually came from Hobby Lobby. It is a seven by nine, but any flat panel canvas that is larger than this size stretch canvas that you're using would work fine for this project as well. I went ahead and carefully removed the canvas from the Dollar Tree stretch canvas. And then I'm going back in with this scrapbook paper. I got this 50% off at Hobby Lobby. So it was only like 10 bucks. And there are so many pretty, just like boho looking prints that I liked. So I picked one that I liked. And then this is what we're gonna add to the flat panel canvas. 
So I'm gonna center this, trim it and cut it and then apply with some Mod Podge. in the comments what your favorite way to apply scrap of paper is. Do you like spray adhesive? Do you like a glue stick? Um, Mod Podge, is there another glue that I don't know about? <laughs> if so, let me know. Um, but I do find, like I said, that rolling the, um, this is a Cricut roller, but I'm sure you can get any type of like craft roller, works really well at getting rid of the bubbles, as well as this Mod Podge brush, which I think Amazon has it as well. I can link it down below if I remember, but I did get that for like $4 at Hobby Lobby. So since the wood frame is kind of... Um, roughed up. I took a sanding piece of paper. I could not find my Dollar Tree sanding sponge. That is my favorite. Um, just to smooth it out since it just looks nicer that way. Now you can stain this, paint this. I'm just leaving it unfinished. I like that unfinished look, especially against a really bold pattern like the one that I'm using. But of course, whatever you like, just go ahead and do that. I want this to be a picture frame and I want to be able to interchange the pictures. So what I did was I took the stickers that have the um, fastener dots on them from Dollar Tree. I trimmed them so they don't totally stick out and then I applied them with hot glue to the wood part but not to where you're putting down the scrapbook paper. This way you get that adhesion that you want but you're able to lift it to add pictures to it. Now, of course, you wanna pick it up carefully so it does not um, tear away at the scrapbook paper, but this is just a really fun, easy way to display pictures. If you are not new to my channel, then you know I love a project that you can make to display pictures, and this is a great, easy one to make using some canvases. Next up, we have a functional piece that's also decorative. So taking an 11 by 14 flat panel canvas, I'm gonna use some of this leftover peel and stick wallpaper. I recently added this to my living room. This is from Amazon, super inexpensive. I think it was like six bucks for the roll. Again, if I remember, I can link it down below because that's half the struggle remembering. Um, lots of options for this paint, scrapbook paper, stencil, peel and stick. Dollar Tree also has peel and stick wallpaper, which I love. Um, I use that in my bookcase makeover. Um, and then we're gonna use a recent project, which I can link down below for you. And it's this faux um, basket envelope. And I figure this would be great to put in like an entryway or in a mud room to put mail. Um, and then I'm going to add some of the small Dollar Tree command hooks that are meant for like keys, adding a little bit of hot glue just to make sure that they stay on besides the adhesion that it comes with, like stays on good. There we go. I was <laughs> at a loss for words. Um, I added three to the bottom and that is it for this project. Super simple. Again, a great way to layer canvases to get something that's decorative fits your style, but also functional. And then to hang this, I'm using two command strips. I picked the ones that can hold up to 16 pounds, um, just because if you do add keys to this, that will add some weight. So just keep that in mind. And I love this. This is decorative, super pretty, and functional. And let me know in the comments, how do you store your mail? Do you just leave it on the counter? Do you have like something like this that you can have by like the door or in a kitchen? Let me know because I made this because I need to be more organized right now. The pile of mail by my computer is just not working. Next up is a really easy way to make something sentimental and personal to you and your home or your family. So taking any size canvas, this is I believe the six by seven, six by eight, I removed the actual canvas from it and then I cut to size a piece of foam board that's gonna fit the backing of that. This is Dollar Tree foam board. And then I used this pretty kind of like antiqued looking um, notebook paper, scrapbook paper, if I could say paper any more times, from Hobby Lobby. And I trim that to add this to the backing. You want the foam board backing because it's just gonna give this sign more stability so it's not like flapping in the wind. So some glue stick for this. <laughs> the purple just seems so aggressive, but 
glue stick, add your scrap of paper. Now you can also run this through your computer, print something out, but I felt like this would just look nice as kind of like a handwritten note. So I actually put the lyrics to my husband and mine wedding song, my wedding song, our wedding song, um, my best friend from Tim McGraw. I love that song. I'm not a huge, huge country fan. Words are hard today. But this song is just so fitting for our relationship. It's one of my favorite songs. So let me know down in the comments, what is your wedding song? I always love to know that. Um, I just thought this would be really cute. Lots of different options for this. So once you write whatever your message is on this piece, you just go ahead, hot glue the frame back on, and then you have something really personalized. I decided to add our wedding day to this just to make it a little more kind of looking like a note that you would write. And I love that this is something that I can have that's sentimental in my home, but also decorative. I found these two gorgeous, fun, vibrant pieces of scrapbook paper at Hobby Lobby. One's the mermaid scale, and then this one is, it says something turquoise, but they were so pretty, so fun. So I wanted to make something that was just kind of decorative. I saw something on the Kirkland's website similar to this, so I wanted to kind of get inspiration from there. So I'm gonna take this bowl, this is from the Dollar Tree, just as a base to get a round, shape and circle. I don't know why I'm saying round shape. It's a circle. Um, and then I'm going to cut that. Um, actually cutting a circle is so much easier than cutting a straight line. That's why you see me use my paper trimmer all the time, but a circle, I can cut those all day. So we're going to cut this out and then we're going to trim that bottom piece, um, just so that it fits the bottom of the canvas and then we're going to layer them. This was, and I don't have the picture now, but it was something very similar to what I saw in Kirkland's. Um, I do advise for this using Mod Podge or spray adhesive just because I originally went in with a glue stick and it was just not sticking to the canvas whatsoever. So keep that in mind. Um, and then we're just going to layer this. I thought these colors were so beautiful. Um, this definitely is something that I think is really fun for um, like summer decor, even though it's February, not even close to summertime when this video is coming out. But the mermaid scales, kind of ocean colors, super pretty, but just a really easy way to make like a statement piece, taking no time and costing barely anything. Let me know what you think of these easy canvas hacks and if there's any of these that you are going to try. And don't forget, this is a part two. Part one will be in the description box or pinned as a comment below. As always, let me know which of these projects was your favorite. I always like to know. And also let me know if you've stuck around this long in the comments. If you would like to see some more scrapbook paper DIYs, I have like a DIY hack idea scrapbook paper video in mind. And if you'd like to see it, definitely let me know. So make sure also you're subscribed. If you are not already, I upload two to three times a week and make sure that notification bell is turned on so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you all are doing well and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.